and a good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Midland Civic Arena for high school hockey as the Midland High Chemics face off with the Dow High Chargers in their second regular season meeting of the school year. Alongside Terry Hanley, my name is Jason Harper, and Terry, tonight it's the Chemics and the Chargers round number two. Midland High coming in with a 14-5 record under Coach Jeff Brown. This is a Midland High team that plays an extremely tough schedule to prepare for the postseason. Yeah, they have it that. Uh, they, But that's what they wanted. They, they always wanted to go out there and play the tougher teams to help them prepare for what the outcome of the season is, is the playoffs. Uh, they've done that this year. They've played a lot of great teams, played them well. They've lost a couple games that I know Coach Brown would like to get back. Uh, but again, tonight it's Dow High, and it's always a struggle to play that team. Well, this is one of those games we've played in every sport, and it's true. It doesn't matter what the records are when the Kimmicks and the Chargers do battle. It's always a top-notch game. The Midland High Kimmicks coming in with two top lines. These are six players on the two lines. When we talk about their wings and their forwards that are really interchangeable, they're led by Caleb Diggis, or by Nick Mammel, and Nick Mammel comes with the leading scorer, but we're talking Diggis and Mammel. We're talking players that can put the puck in the net. Well, yeah, that line, uh, the Mammel line right now, you've got Thomas Smith. Uh, he's got a goal in every game, I think, for the last five games right now, two against Flint Powers. Uh, so he's been on fire right now, and Nick Mammel is always a leader of this team. You know, He's been here for four years. He is the leader of this team, and he's going to prepare this this team to go to battle. And you know they're going to listen to him because they know he's he's going to you know he's been around long enough. He's gone through a couple state championship games or into the final four with this team, and they're going to listen to him. And he's going to tell them what to prepare for. I've had Caleb Dickinson out of habit, exactly. Terry, but That's it's right. Elliot Dickinson, the, the junior. But he's a player that has really stepped up from the beginning of the year to today. Oh, I agree. Elliot's come on strong. He's playing a lot better. Uh, again, it's his first year on this team. But he's proven that he's worth the bat, you know, worth taking, and he's going to step up and play a great game tonight. The Dow High Chargers coming in with a nine and nine record under head coach Dick Blazy. This is a Charger team that continues to improve. They're very young. They're a little inconsistent on the ice, but this is a team that has a lot of potential. Oh yeah, you've got 12 sophomores that he's got on this team right now. A group of those that played together for quite a while through you know, youth, the youth hockey programs, travel hockey. So they're, you know, they know how each other plays. And now you take that group and you get it, but the biggest problem you have with that group is they are sophomores. So you're going against guys that are 17, 18 years old. Uh, it gets a little tough to, to play against right now for them. It's a whole new situation. And the Dow High Chargers uh, coming into this game, Travis McNally, their leading goal scorer. He's got uh, almost 20 goals. He's a player that the Chargers are looking to lead. Oh yeah, Travis had a great year. He's one of those kids that's come in. He's playing hard, plays, always played hard, uh, but he's scoring goals right now, and that's what you need. The biggest key for Dow tonight is they got to get that defense to step up a little bit better for him and help out the striker in the net. Uh, we are just about set to go with this contest, the Midland High Chemics and the Dow High Chargers. These two teams met early this year with the uh, Right after Christmas break, these two teams did battle with the Midland High Kimmicks coming out on top. We are moments away from the second contest here between the Kimmicks and the Chargers as these teams wrap up the regular season in the next week and a half and prepare for the postseason, which will begin with another Kimmick Charger showdown coming up on Monday the 27th. We'll talk about that in detail in just a couple of moments, but right now we're going to turn things over to our public address announcer, and we will meet tonight's starting lineups for the contest between the Midland High Kimmicks and the Dow Chargers.
presented by Jeff Richards, G.J. Larner, and Dave Zack. And now the starters for your now high chargers. On defense, number eight, Stephen Roberts. On defense, number 23, Michael Leslie. And forward, number two, Joey Sleeper. And forward, number seven, Matthew Lee. And at forward, number 17, David Larson. Charged with coach by Dick Blasey, assisted by Trevor Butter, John Hollingsworth, and Joe Millett. The officials for tonight's game. The goalie, correct, the goalie for the Chargers, number one, Derek Stryker. The officials, referee, Brett DeRoche, referee, Russ Eichberger, and linesman, Tyler Billings. Tonight we have now high senior, Michelle Kaminsky, to sing the national anthem. Michelle has sung the anthem at many sporting events for Dow High and during the course of the year and representing Dow High, Ms. Pam Pasco would like to send a rose to Michelle. Beautiful job with the national anthem, and we are just about set to go with the Kimmicks and the Chargers here on MPS TV Channel 98. Jason Harper alongside Terry Hanley and a crew of about a dozen MCTV volunteers all on hand to bring you this contest. The Midland High Kimmicks huddling up uh, behind uh, their goalie, Austin Kamiski, and this is a little bit of a, a surprise, Terry, that Coach Jeff Brown opted to go with the junior Kamiski as the starting goalie in tonight's game. Well, yeah, I think our, our opinion was it was going to be between Walters and Inman as far as coming out to be a starter, and with him, I think what he's looking for here is a little consistency in goaltending. You know, with, with the way we talk to Coach Brown a little bit before the game, he's, he, you know, it's obvious there's been a little inconsistent, inconsistency in goaltending, and maybe Austin will be that answer he's looking for. So Kamiski will get the start. Midland High will have Sam Gannon along with Elliot Diggerson and uh, Jason Rieger as the forwards. Connor Hart and Luke Smiley also starting for Midland High. Dow High going with Derek Stryker in net, and Derek Stryker had a tremendous game against Midland High uh, just a little over a month ago. Yeah, I think Derek played a great game. I think he had 33 saves in a game. It was a 5-2 victory for Midland High, but could have been a lot worse if it wasn't for Derek. Joe Sleeper, Matt Lee, Steve Roberts, David Larson, and Michael Leslie rounding out the starting five for the Chargers as we are underway here at the Midland Civic Arena. 
The puck in neutral ice controlled by Midland. Sam Gannon, the senior, tried to bring it forward, and it's going to be offside as Luke Smiley jumped the gun just a little bit. The pass to Smiley a little bit behind him, and he's offside. Yep, a little bit offside. This is a bit, we'll see what team comes out with the most tempo out of this right now. I mean, I think that's going to be key in this first period. Kimmick's in there away. Blue uniforms. The Chargers are wearing the white uniforms in this contest. Bucket center ice. Midland High trying to dump it back in. Elliot Diggerson will send it back the other way. Now Sam Gannon crossing the blue line. Gannon fires it through, and Stryker for the Dow High Chargers. Derek Stryker will try to work it off the boards. Dow High will look to set something up behind their net, but Steve Roberts working onto the puck. Both teams playing a little shorthanded tonight. The Dow High Chargers playing without the services of Zach Paisley or Trevor Roberts due to a coach's decision. And look at David Larson, shot on goal, and a save made. Second shot is going to be to the left-hand side. And that's off right now. There he's got it back on. We got a delayed penalty coming against Kemmicks right here, too. Tripping call. Just a little over a minute into the game, and the first penalty will go against Midland High. The uh, two referees for this contest, Russ Eidenberger and Matt DeShearer, and it's Eidenberger that makes the tripping call. So Going against Connor Hart for the Chemex, a little tripping call down in the corner here on the defensive end of it, so now Chargers get the, the power play here. First power play of the contest. Dow High working the puck. Against the far forward, Steve net. Robinson, goal. a goal scored from the right-hand side. I believe that was Conrad Lather. Stephen Roberts able to get a nice play down, brought the puck down low and gets a quick shot. Uh, Austin committed, Comiskey committed too far over on that. No defense for the wide-open guy. Uh, tough to do on that rebound. Archer getting the job done. I believe Conrad Lather picking up the goal for the Dow High Chargers. Connor Hart getting one of the saves. Roberts getting a save as well. And it is Lather that will pick up the goal. We're talking just a minute 12 into the contest. Dow High on top, one to nothing with a power play goal. Midland High will have to uh, look to see if they can strike back. This is how their first meeting started as well with the Chargers getting a very early goal. The same thing happens here. Conrad Lather from Steve Roberts the power play goal for the Dow High Chargers. Yeah, Midland seems a little slow and sluggish coming out of the gate right here in this first period. They gotta start picking that tempo up because it looks like the Chargers definitely got the tempo to come out here and play. Uh, Roberts working from one side of the rink to the other. Shot is deflected off the skate of a Midland defenseman. Goes against the board. They work it into the corner. Dow High keeping it in. Roberts with a backhand and Midland having a hard time clearing it out of their another zone. One. Another open shot. That one just misses. Joe Sleeper had a backhand opportunity on goalie Austin Kaminsky. Midland High now back the other direction. Travis Walker trying to work the puck across. Dow High will drop it back into neutral zone. Midland will drop it down in the Dow High zone and go for a line change. Just underway, 12.35 to play here in the first period. Dow leading one to nothing. Chargers in front of the Midland bench, Matt Lee. Drives to work it around. Midland's Elliot Diggison will now look to clear it. Looking across for Luke Smiley. The race is going to be won by Derek Sle or by Stryker. Stryker coming out of the net to try to clear it. Midland behind the Dow High net. Defensive battle going on with Nick Keevy trying to wrestle it away. Against the board this time, the Kimmicks able to keep it in just barely as Midland's Luke Smiley sends it back in the direction of Stryker. Centering pass is no good. The Chargers able to clear it out. And Dow High on a break again. David Larson across center ice. And a kick save made by Comiskey. Midland High back into the neutral zone. Working it around is Jason Regeer. Regeer looking for somebody. Still controls it. Regeer now skating behind. Regeer tries to ford it up. And nobody there in the middle. Regeer had control of the puck for quite some time. Now Midland working it. And Dow High comes away by clearing it out into the neutral zone. The foot race is on. No icing will be called. Midland High will look to set up a play. Both teams going for a line change. Dow High, Steve Roberts back onto the ice. Rico Angel trying to backhand it as well, but Midland will come away with it. Trying to control the puck is... Tom Smith, and we're going to have a penalty against the Chargers. A tripping call. Tom Smith tripped up two Charger defenders.
trying to work right across the middle, and Smith was able to draw the penalty on Sam Brushabeer. Yep, Sam Brushabeer uh, called for a tripping call here. So this gives the Kemmick their first power play of the game. Uh, get the face off deep in the Chargers zone and see if they can uh, commit a, get, a, get a goal going here like the Chargers did. Well, it worked for the Chargers. Yep. They scored early in their power play. We'll see if Midland can answer. Dow High leading one to nothing. 11 minutes to play here in the first period. Kimmich working the puck around, trying to center it up. Backhand shot, no good. The, the, they the got the goal. It in. Yep. Before the net came off, he's calling it a good goal. So That was going to be the question, if whether or not the net was off. I believe Ryan Singer. I think uh, Nick Mammel got Nick Mammel down low got that one. Was it Nick Mammel? Yep. Okay. From Thomas Smith. That's the, the hot hands right there for this Kemic team. Almost looked like it was deflected in off of his uh, shoulder pad. Right, yeah, it looked like it went off the body going into the net. So either way, it goes in the net as long as it's not a skate kicking it in. And they're actually going to give that goal to Jason Regeer. Regeer from Smith is the announcement. And we're tied at 1-1. One to one. We'll check that in between periods and see if it stays. But Jason Regeer from Tom Smith for the Midland power play goal. And the power plays have been very effective here early in the contest. We are tied at one with 10-15 to play early here in the first period. Waved off the icing. Midland High winning the battle to the puck with Forrest Parsh, the junior, looking at clearing it out. Now Dow High's Robert Mahalan comes back. Dow High will dump it into the Midland zone and go for a line change. Kimmicks working it over to Scott Naples. Naples, the junior, now works over to Phil Parks. Parks' backhand doesn't get into the net. Uh, Dow's defense, which has been inconsistent at times this year, able to put the stop on. Midland recovering it before it can get into the neutral zone. Backhand shot by Elliot Diggerson is no good. Midland from the blue line. That one won't get to Stryker. Deflected away by the Dow defense. One to one as Midland works in the corner. Luke Smiley clears it out. Shot from the blue line, a kick save made by Stryker. Rebound oh. shot just missing the net. Elliot Diggerson sent a slow one going wide open. Midland High goal, Luke Smiley. Midland High controlled that whole zone right there. From the point on in, Sam Gannon did a great job down low on that shift. Uh, everybody from the point on in doing a great job. Connor Hart up at the point there, able to keep the puck in quite a few times. Uh, just good passing, good puck movement, and able to get that goal. And Luke Smiley coming away with the goal for the Midland High Chemics to make it 2-1 to one in favor of Midland. And we saw there one of the Achilles heel of the Dow High Chargers this year is Midland had three or four chances to set up a play from the blue line before scoring. Dow High could not clear that uh, the puck away. And as a result, Luke Smiley comes away with the goal and a wide open head striker going one direction. Smiley put the puck in the net from the other direction. And it gets tough. You got to be able to clear the puck out of your own zone. Two to one, Midland. See like right there, that's another giveaway right there. The Kimmicks again keeping the puck in after a slow start by Midland. They have definitely changed the momentum of the contest. Still a lot of time. We're early in the first period, about 8.50 to play. Should and be we're going to have an icing call as Dow High will bring some new personnel onto the ice. Yeah, if, if, you're, if you're forwards for the Dow Chargers right now, if your forwards are sucking into the zone more, going into the zone more to try to help clear the puck out, then when that puck comes up to the defenseman for the Chemics, they're able to keep it in, and your forwards are chasing back and forth the whole time. Then forwards got to stay up high and get the puck and help get the puck out of the zone. Chargers do clear it into the neutral zone this time around. Robert Mahalan working on the left-hand side. Mahalan being worked into the corner by the Midland High defense, and Tom Smith will clear it ahead. Midland works it over to Nick Mammel. Mammel from the blue line thought about the shot. Can't get by the Dow High defense. Nick Keevy keeping uh, the shot from happening. From the blue line, high shot and a shoulder save made by Stryker. That was, uh, I believe, uh, Travis Walker that put a lot of juice on that shot from the blue line. Two to one, Midland with the lead. Eight minutes to play here in the first period. Line change, Kimmich's looking to take advantage of it. Nice move by Daniel Freed, the senior, will be worked into the boards by Joe Sleeper. 
Freed trying to work the puck. He does. Freed has got Nick Mammel open. Can't find him. Now a shot taken by uh, Jason Rieger. And that goes high. Dow High with a little bit of a numbers advantage crosses the blue line. Dow High scored the first goal of the game on a power play. Midland responded with a power play goal and then scored a second goal about a minute later. We're about halfway through the first period. Dow High trying to center it up, but they're going to make a line change at the same time. Midland High trying to clear it out. This doesn't. David Larson had the puck briefly for the Chargers, now working back to the blue line with Keevy. Puck behind the Midland High net. It's Austin Kamiski, the junior, getting the start in goal for the Kimmicks tonight. Midland working it along the boards. Can't clear it out. Chargers will keep it in. We saw, well, this time Midland clears it out. We saw Midland take advantage of Dow not being able to clear a puck out earlier. Dow attempting to do the same thing. Now they work it back into the zone, and we're going to have an offside call. Well, the Chargers are doing a great job keeping the puck in the zone, but they're not getting any shots. But the, they need to start throwing some pucks on Austin, especially, you know, they showed a little vulnerability on Austin Kaminsky and Nett on that power play. Start shooting the puck at him, but they just haven't been able to get a good scoring shot off yet. But they are doing a better job getting the puck into the zone and keeping it there. 6.41 to play here in the first period. Midland leading 2-1. to one. Kimmicks winning the faceoff. They work in a neutral zone. Dow High coming up with the steal briefly, but Midland will get it right back. Dow High cleared out by Leslie, but into the stick of Travis Walker. Dow High keeps it into the neutral zone, clears it back out again. Midland will look to set something up. Dow High puts the kiboshes on that, but stolen away at center ice. Midland now with a scoring chance. Sam Gannon can't catch up with the puck. Gannon hit into the boards by the Chargers. Midland still controlling it down into the corner. Great camera work by our volunteer MCTV crew working hard tonight here at the Midland Civic Arena. We'll talk about how you can become involved in a moment. Shot taken. Midland's Jason Regeer had another chance for a backhand. Could not connect. Leslie on defense without a stick. Now he got a stick from a teammate there. Don't want your defenseman without a stick like that. Somebody's got to get him a stick. Dow cleared everything out and went for a line change, and we're going to have a icing call at the 536 mark. If you want to become involved with MCTV, the time is now to get involved. All you have to do is stop by at MCTV Orientation. We've got one coming up on Saturday, February 11th or Saturday, March the 10th. The orientations begin at 10 o'clock in the morning in the MCTV studio, which is located in the basement of the Grace A. Dow Library. If you need more information on how you can become involved, pick up the phone and call 837-3474. Again, that number, 837-3474, or check out the website on your screen, or head over to Facebook. MCTV's got a page on there as well. Become involved with Midland Community Television. Midland High trying to clear things out of their zone. They do so successfully. Midland across the blue line, centering pass up and a kick save made. Rebound is also saved by Stryker. A couple of good shots there by Midland High still parks, but Stryker came up with two big kick saves. Midland High's Connor Hart will dump it behind. Kimmicks controlling the puck behind the net. Again, Chargers having a hard time clearing things out. Midland setting up Jason Regeer. Shot taken, doesn't get to Stryker. Dow's defense able to block and come up, clearing it to neutral life. But Midland immediately getting the puck back. Regeer all over the place. Attempts another shot and again. Dow's defense, this time Andrew Brookins, able to keep the puck in game through. Regeer, how about another shot from the blue line? And that one goes to the right-hand side. Just over four minutes to play here in the first period. Kimmicks up two to one. They're controlling things in, in their zone. Tom Smith with the puck, centers things out, and the puck just kind of flows directly in front of Stryker. Midland looking to set things up again. Dan Freed will fish it back over to Nick Mammel. Mammel hit into the boards. Again, Dan Freed trying to keep it in, can't do it, and the Kimmicks will have to regroup. Charger sitting it way down. Actually, a shot on goal all the way from the opposite blue line by Nick Keevy. But Dow in a line change. Midland looking to take advantage. Parks forwarding it ahead over to Scott Naples. Naples trying to center things up. And 
The puck will go off the netting, and we have a stoppage at 344 of the first period. Well, that was a smart move by the Chargers there, getting it, throwing the puck down, getting the shot on goal so it wasn't an icing. Gave him time to get that line change. That, that group of five was out there for quite a bit, uh, just trying to get the puck out of the zone, so that gave him a chance to get that quick line change. But they got to be careful because Midland's setting that forward right up on that blue line looking for that long pass. The faceoff won by the Chargers, but then they could not clear it out from the right-hand side. We'll see what Midland can do with 3.30. Kimmich's looking to center things up. They were looking for Connor Hart on the right-hand side. Now Dow with the puck behind the net. Chargers trying to find somewhere to go with it. Rico Angel can't find anybody. Midland High will steal it away behind the net. Scott Naples looking for something. Again, the Kimmich's keeping it in. Tremendous job by Midland High of keeping all the action down in the Dow High zone. Forrest Parsh tried to center it up. Couldn't do it, but Midland will try it one more time. Jason Regeer gives it over to Steve Roberts. Roberts will cross the center line. Dow Roberts will dump in a shot in over to Austin Tomiski, but Roberts had no backup. The Chargers were in a line change, and the shot easily saved by Comiskey. And Roberts right, right there kind of wanted to get rid of that puck when he was in the zone, but knew he had to skate it out, otherwise they weren't going to get a good line change. So he did the smart thing and took it into the zone, got a shot off, gave his teammates a chance to get that line change. 2.45 to play here in the first period. One goal game. Chargers scored first on a power play early. Midland responded with a power play goal and then scored about a minute after that. The last half of the period, though, has been all Midland working in front of Derek Stryker in the Dow High net. Again, the Kimmicks keeping it in, and a kick save made by Stryker, the shot taken from the blue line. The battle on the far side, Sam Gannon trying to keep it in. Again, an unbelievable job by the Kimmicks the, at the blue line. They have done a great job of isolating the Dow High Chargers. Now Dow High does go into the neutral zone. Robert Mahalan can't find any place to go, dumps it behind the net of Kaminsky. Just two minutes to play here in the first period. Midland across the blue line. Nice pass there. Is he offside? No, he wasn't. Travis Walker did a great job crossing the blue line at the same time of uh, that the puck did. Midland, a uh, penalty yeah. coming up as Jason Regeer was tripped up as he tried to skate in on Stryker. It'll be the second penalty of the contest against the Chargers. Yeah, Michael Leslie's going to get that one for a trip, but can almost uh, go either way on that with the gear on a dive, but uh, not much of a call, but it's a penalty and uh, took him off the puck, so that's where the penalty comes into play. So and they're going to call it a hooking call yes. against Leslie. <laughs> Sometimes it <laughs> makes you wonder. Sometimes it makes you wonder, but it's a penalty. Chemex will go on the power play here with a uh, minute 38 left in the period. The Chemex were successful on the first power play they had of this contest. We'll see what happens this time around. Chargers trying to clear things up. They do. Nice job there by the Dow defenseman, but Midland at center ice will work to put it right back in. Dan Freed over to Tom Smith. Shot is high and above Stryker's head. 1.20 to play here in the first period. Chemex with a one goal lead, and they're on the power play. From the blue line, now centering it up. Shot taken, no good. Goes up against the glass. Freed will keep the puck into play for Midland. Working over to Smith again. Now from the left-hand side, shot is saved by Stryker. And Dowhide does clear it out. Under a minute to play here in the first period. Chargers getting a change on the defensive end, so that's a good sign. Midland looking to regroup. They've skated across center ice and then across the blue line. Try to go towards the middle. David Larson had a chance to free it up. Couldn't do it. Regeer with a shot, no good. Smith with a shot. Stryker coming up with a save, and Dow does clear it into the neutral ice. 35 seconds to play. Midland from the left-hand side, and Stryker will deflect it high. It doesn't hit the ceiling or the netting, so the puck stays in play. 25 seconds here in the first period. Midland looking to center up, looking for Travis Walker. Now he gives it back. Walker, center ice, can't get anything on the shot. Dow High able to backhand it back into the neutral ice with 10 seconds to go. Midland coming in. Tom Smith skating the puck. You being double teamed. Smith with a shot. Stryker makes the save. Yeah, two quick shots. Nick Mamel right there. 
Uh, right there waiting for that rebound. Stryker's giving up a lot of rebounds right now, which is going to benefit these Chemics if the Charger defense can't clear that zone. But uh, all in all, a good power play for the Chemics right there. They played that pretty well. Just under five seconds to play here in the first period. The faceoff will be to the right of Derek Stryker. Midland winning the faceoff, looking to get a quick shot. Backhand, and it's no good. Midland able to get the shot off. They did a great job of positioning Sam Gannon in there to try to get the backhand and could not come up with it. The first period ends with the Midland High Kimmix on top, 2-1. to one. And Terry, your thoughts on the first 15 minutes? Well, I thought the, the beginning of the period came out strong for the, the Chargers. I thought they came out, you know, they got that first goal. The momentum was their way uh, with the Kimmix getting that second second goal of the game real quick off the power play again. Uh, then it just seemed like the Chargers kind of deflated a little bit, and it seemed like they didn't have as much energy anymore. But uh, defensively, they got to be able to clear that puck out of the zone better. I think the Chemics did a great job keeping it in the zone. And then when they do get into the Chemic zone, the Chargers got to get shots off. I would say they maybe had four for four shots. Yeah, four shots on the period. So you're not going to win hockey games getting four shots. Yeah, Midland definitely controlling the uh, the shots on goal in uh, in the opening period as the Midland High Chemics able to come up with uh, 15 shots against Derek Stryker compared to only four shots that the Dow High Chargers had against Austin Kaminsky. First period coming to an end here at the Midland Civic Arena. We're going to step aside for a quick second, come back and get ready for period number two. You're watching high school hockey on MBS TV at the end of one. It's the Midland High Chemics two, the Dow High Chargers one. And we welcome you back to the Midland Civic Arena. High school hockey continuing on MBS TV. The Dow High Chargers and the Midland High Kimmicks getting ready for period number two. The Kimmicks coming onto the ice as we speak with a two to one lead. Midland High controlling this game. Jason Regeer and Luke Smiley picking up the two Midland High goals in the first period. Their sixth and seventh goals of the season respectively. Conrad Lather scoring the Dow High goal that started this contest. That was Lather's seventh goal of this season. Two to one as we get ready for the second period. The Midland High Kimmicks will be on a power play for about 20 more seconds as the Dow High Chargers now emerge from their locker room. And uh, Terry, one of the great things about hockey is that you get that those intermissions to uh, get a chance to regroup, get the players hydrated again, and to give some uh, instruction from the coaching perspective. What went on in the locker room? Well, in the chemical locker room, I'd say it was pretty probably pretty relaxed. I mean, they're doing a lot of things right uh, as far as puck control in the zone, like getting good quality shots off. You got a 2-1 lead, keep your game plan. As far as the Chargers, if I was Coach Blazy, the main thing I'd be telling my kids is shoot the puck. I mean, you've got a goalie that nobody really has tested yet. You know, you've got a power play goal that you were able to put on him. Then let's see what we can do and get some shots off on him. Um, defensively for the Chargers, I think they, they, they handled themselves pretty well as far as clearing the, the rebounds out in front of Stryker, which is what they need to do. But they just got to do a little bit better job now getting the puck out of the zone and then get into the chemic zone and throw some shots on that and see what can happen. Now Austin Kamiski faced four shots from the Dow High Chargers, made three saves. Derek Stryker for Dow High faced 15 shots. He saved 13 of those. There's a good look at Kamiski talking with uh, senior Dan Freed as he gets support in net from the uh, Midland High Kimmix. Two to one, Midland leading. It will be a Kimmick power play as we begin the second period here on MPS TV. And the faceoff is going to be won by Dow briefly, but then Midland was able to knock it behind the net of Stryker. Kimmicks in blue, Chargers in white, and the puck sent down towards the far end where Kamiski stepped to the side of the net and gives it over to Free. Midland will set plays up. The power play running over. The penalty is over, and it's now five on five. Centering pass for Midland and deflected away nicely that time. Dow High, Steve Roberts able to come away and deny the shot for Scott Naples. Midland working behind, Smiley trying to center things back up. Dow High controlling it briefly, 
but Dan Freed will keep it in play for Midland. Behind the net, Roberts again tries to clear it, can't do it. They work into the corner. They're battling it out. Midland now to Freed, centering pass, and it goes to the left-hand side. Pretty good shot by Freed as he tried to force it towards the middle. Now Dow High will come back. Working it is Conrad Lather. Lather's got the one goal, and he's got a shot on goal there as a glove save made by Comiskey. Yeah, this is where they're doing. That was a good job of the Chargers right there. Uh, that you got to get that shot a little bit lower. Hope it comes off a pad where your your forwards that are charging the net there can get a rebound and try to get some second shots off on that. Faceoff will be in the Midland zone to the right of Comiskey. Chargers win to the faceoff shot taken, go. kick save made, rebound attempt by Andrew Brookins. Doesn't make it to the net, and Midland High will come back working in the other direction with Steve Trombley trying to center it up, and the centering pass goes wide to the left. Gimmicks will keep it in. Dow High's Nick Keevy tries to clear it out. Can't do it. Now backhand shot by Mammel. Doesn't get to the net. Nick Mammel's been kind of quiet here in the first period. Mammel, the leading goal scorer for the Midland High Gimmicks. I believe he may only have one, maybe two shots on goal. Yeah, he's got an assist on one goal, I believe, on the first goal, I believe. So he's he's oh, he's getting his point out of it, but definitely uh, that line right there is always a scoring line for him. Just underway here in the second period. Face off one by Midland if they work into the corner. Derek Stryker keeping the puck away. Dow High will come back. Tried to look ahead, did the Chargers to Bershaber, but Bershaber could not catch up with it. Now Connor Hart will clear it back out. Dow High doing a good job keeping it in with Ethan Loftus. Loftus lost the puck behind the net. Now he's got it back. Loftus right tries up. to center it up, and a good job there by Midland Scott Naples of kicking it away, not allowing the Chargers to get a shot on goal. Yeah, yeah. Rico Angel had a good, almost good scoring chance right there for the Chargers, but he got picked up. Bill Parks will clear it away for the Midland High Kimmix. Now Dow dumps it right back in. The Chargers have done a much better job here in the second period of clearing things onto their zone and try to set something up offensively as the icing will bring the puck back in uh, to the Dow High zone. Yeah, the Chargers are definitely coming out with a little more em emphasis on things this uh, second period. Uh, a lot better job of going after the puck in the, in the Kimmix zone and getting some shots off so far already in the second period. 12.35 to play here in period number two. Kimmich leading by one. They're working behind. Stryker, Ooh. nice centering pass. Second shot, no good as well. Stryker had the rebound, but Elliot Diggerson, the junior, had two golden chances for the Midland High. Kimmich could not come up with anything. Dan Freed will take the puck at center ice, dumping it back into the zone for the Midland High. Kimmich. Nick Keevy looks to clear it out. Can't do it. They battle in the corner. Battle still continues with the Midland High Kimmicks emerging with the puck briefly. Midland High looking to try to center it up, maybe to Travis Walker, but Dow High will come away with it, and the Chargers will be able to clear it out. Travis Walker dumps it back in, looking for Diggison. Diggison skates into traffic, no place to go. Chargers back into the neutral zone. Dan Freed will take it for the Kimmicks. Now Travis Walker will skate around. Try to dump it back inside. Chargers will look to set something up. They do. They dump it into the Midland High zone. Line change as the Kimmicks work down along center ice. Steve Trombley, the junior, knocked into the boards but centers the puck up. Midland High just had nobody that could do anything with it. Back into the boards once again. Midland High looking for Dan Freed. Can't do it. It is skated or the puck goes down towards Comiskey. No icing on the play and Austin Comiskey comes up with the stop. Just under 11 minutes to play. We're in the second period. Dow High at center right. Has the puck knocked away by the Kimmicks. Right now kind of a back and forth here in the second period. Midland High now skating in, shot and striker makes the save. Good. Quick shot by Trombley there for the Chemex, just trying to throw something on that right now. Striker's playing a great period in the second period. 
Uh, earlier, Elliot, Elliot Diggison getting a couple good shots. A little close range, so there's not much you can do with the puck, but just keep hammering at it, and Stryker able to make a couple good saves there. So he's keeping this score 2-1 right now. Face off in the Dow High zone. It's going to be won by the Chargers. They're going to skate it into the neutral ice. Working down is Sam for Schaber. Now works it over to Loftus. Loftus tries to center things up. Could not do it. Dow High had a great scoring chance with Rico Angel skating across the middle. Chargers still working the puck in. And now Midland will gain control of it. Kimmicks. Neutral ice. Long pass from one side to the other side. Midland's had a hard time setting up any kind of offensive play. He's got a penalty coming. And we've got a penalty that is going to be called at the 10-minute mark here in the second period. It's going to be it's against Dow High. Nick Keevy is going to go into the penalty box for a cross check. Yep, not too happy about that, but there was, the sad part is that's what they call a dumb penalty because it's behind the play. And it was right in front of uh, right, Russ Eidenberger. <laughs> right in front of the ref, but behind the play. So Kemmick's going to power play. Penalties have been an issue at times for the Dow High Chargers. The cross check penalty will give the Midland High Kimmich oh. the power play. And now the Chargers off sides that had the breakaway and a little bit of action be after the whistle. I don't think in well, the Charger crowd like that one, but it. no, I don't think they were turning Con Conrad Lather getting into a little uh, situation down low, but skated away. And You've got three officials on the ice. Somebody has to be watching the whole after time. the whistle. Yep. The Kimmicks one for two on power plays here in this contest. Nice job there by the Dow High Chargers, even though they're one man short. They've got the puck in the Midland High zone, or at least they did. Now the Kimmicks will work down. And the shot taken too high for Sam Gannon. And we've got a high stick whistle that will send the face off all the way down into the Midland zone. Yeah, that's Elliot Diggison played it off the glass with a high stick. Uh, good pressure, Sam Gannon coming down, getting a quick shot off. Uh, and then coming off the glass, puck was played with a high stick by Diggison, so that'll bring the puck, excuse me, the face off all the way back down into the Chemic zone. And uh, again, Chargers did a great job, and they're doing a pretty decent job killing off this penalty right now. Yeah, the Chargers having a uh, couple of chances at a shorthanded goal. Midland yep. does win the face off. We've been here, good nice little poke check. Midland High able to work it across with Elliot Diggison. Now working back over to Nick Mammel on the far side. Shot is wide of the net. Just over a minute remaining in the power play. Travis Walker trying to center oh, it up and Stryker will be able to cover it up. Thomas Smith a little bit too, uh, too quick on uh, pulling the trigger. Put a lot on that though. He did. He did. <laughs> and, but Derek Stryker was able to uh, grab the puck. Yeah, he wants that one back. He definitely wants that one back. That's one of those ones that your eyes are wide open seeing that net and, and just couldn't get stick to puck contact on that one. Nine minutes to play in the contest. One minute left in the Midland power play as Stryker covers it up again. That was like one of your softball swings. Yeah, <laughs> low. <laughs> Low in a lot of air, right? Face off to the left-hand side of Stryker, and again, Stryker will be able to cover it up. Derek Stryker doing a nice job in net. He had a great game the first time these two teams met, a Midland victory back in early January. And although Stryker has given up two goals, he has faced a lot of shots here in this game. Well, they're moving Regeer around quite a bit in this game. He's been playing defense and forward. Now he's back down at forward on his power play. Uh, seeing if he can help out on the goal part, and they move Mammel up to the defensive point. Freed with a shot, the deflection goes wide. Mammel's got the puck right now from Midland behind net. Mammel looks to center it up. Now for Travis Walker. Walker goes back to Mammel. Mammel looking for Freed, who can't get the shot off. And there's another one of those. 30 seconds left in the power play. Midland keeping the puck into the Dow High zone. Shot from just inside the blue line. Again, they couldn't get much on it. The puck goes in front of the net, but no shot given. Now into the corner. Travis Walker setting it off the boards for Midland. Mammo trying to go with a foot race along with Andrew Brookins. Less than 10 seconds into the power play. Dan Freed has the puck for Midland. Works across the board. Now back to Freed. 
Shot taken, and it doesn't get anywhere near Stryker. The power play is done. We're back to even strength. Eight minutes to play in front of the net. The puck able to be deflected through. Midland. Still Look. keeping it in the zone. Thomas Smith tried to center up, maybe looking for Jason Regeer. Couldn't do anything with it. Now Travis Walker, his shot to the left of Stryker. Careful how they play that. Too many men? Ooh. That was awful close to too many men. <laughs> I'm not sure it wasn't too many yeah, men. I think it was, yeah, I agree. And the linesman saw it, but no referee called it, so got to be careful on that one. Seven and a half minutes to play here in the second period. Dow High having a hard time clearing the puck. We saw this back in the first period where after about four or five minutes, Midland was finally able to convert. Dow High does clear the puck this time around. We've got an icing call at the 7.05 mark. You're watching high school hockey here on NPS TV. If you're just tuning in, you can watch the game in its entirety. Thursday, February 9th through Sunday, February 12th. Air times will be 12.30 in the afternoon and 9 p.m. And be sure to check out the MPF website or the Midland Daily News for future airings of tonight's broadcast. Dow High trying to catch up with it. There's no icing. The puck stays live. Joey Sleeper with a good hard hit into the corner onto Connor Hart. Midland High, the puck's just sitting there. Dow High drops back on defense, maybe a little bit early. Gives Midland a chance to set up their offense. Uh, at least this line for the Chargers is coming out getting physical. That's what they've needed to be doing, is getting a little bit more physical with this Kemic team. And we haven't had a whole lot of uh, hits in the game. No, we haven't. Dow High had a very physical game their last battle against Mona, Mona Shores. This game has been fairly clean. 6.20 to play here in the second period. Trying to find some place to go. Dow looking to clear things out. Midland High able to recover with it. Jason Regeer across the blue line. Regeer skating it right in. Can't get the shot. Regeer skated through three Charger defenders and misses the net. Too many people looking at the puck instead of playing that body like they should be. Midland High right back with it. Working on Elliot Diggerson. Now it's cleared out. Icing will stop the clock at the 552 mark. Yeah, the, the icings at this level are they're great for the line changes, but doesn't do you any good as a you know as a team to try to get scoring chances. So, you know, at this point that's telling you that the Chargers are getting tired and they gotta ice the puck. Midland High leading two to one. Jason Regeer and Luke Smiley with two first period goals for Midland. Conrad Lather scored the one Dow High goal in the contest. Nobody has scored here in the second period. The puck dribbling out of the neutral ice towards the Midland High zone, but Midland High coming right back into the other direction with Forrest Parsh getting a shot and Derek Stryker coming up with the save. Yeah, the Chargers got to do something to try to get, he's got to, and I'm sure Coach Blazy's trying to throw something out there that he can to try to get some scoring opportunities, of course, but Something's got to start working for him to try to get some scoring opportunities. Here. Dow winning the faceoff. Sam Grishaber works it into the Midland High zone. That's been a pretty effective line so far offensively. The Grishaber and Ethan Loftus line have done a good job offensively of getting things in front of the Midland High goalie, Austin Kaminsky. Yeah, they, they've only been out there two, three shifts, but at least they're trying to make something happen. Midland High, there's a hit into the boards, able to give Bruce Shaper a chance to skate it into the neutral ice. Bruce Shaper dumps it in. Dow High had Nick Keevy open on the far side. Bruce Shaper didn't see him, and now the Chargers hitting the line change. Into the neutral ice, both teams work it again. Midland High trying to find something. Jason Regeer, he is all over the, or actually that was Phil Parks. He's been all over the place, as has Regeer. Depending on who's out onto the ice at what time, they're logging in the miles on the skates, Terry. Oh, yeah. Three lines is about all you've seen out of Midland High so far tonight. And if the score is getting worse, that's probably all you'll see. 4.15 to play here in the second period. One goal advantage. At neutral ice, Midland High's Thomas Smith able to skate it, but Dow High will send it back into neutral ice. That's what the Dow High Chargers need to do more of. Eliminate Midland's chances to set anything up. Battle continues in front of the Dow High bench. 
Midland High, nice job there by Nick Mammel of just skating between Charger defenders coming up with the puck. Mammel sends it down ice, breakaway for the Midland High Chemist. Jason Regeer centers it up for the goal! Thomas Smith, the junior, puts it in! That's Thomas' sixth game with a goal, so he's still on that hot streak, but again, no defense backing up to help, and you had Thomas Smith wide open. Regeer makes a great pass across, and Thomas got time to collect the puck and do something with it and put it where he wanted it. So uh, nothing, you know, you can't, Stryker can't do much to do and defend that. Not well, much he can do there. Well, that's a play that started down in, at the Midland High zone with Nick Mammel coming up with the steal, skating through a couple of, uh, of uh, defenders, and then Mammel got the puck to Jason Regeer, and Regeer with a beautiful pass to Thomas Smith, who was wide open, and Smith putting it in for the Midland High Kimmicks. A little bit of a delay as the uh, officials are talking to Dick Blasey. Yeah, I think or I should say Dick Blasey's talking to the officials. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to... Uh, he wasn't real happy with some action down that happened in his, his own right before the chemist scored that goal. So just kind of explaining his view, and it's good that the referees allow him to do that. But Midland High, that, that may have been the prettiest goal that we will see There's tonight. A Here's a breakaway shot, and no good. Save made by Kamiski. The shot was a little bit off net. David Larson had the steal and a chance for Dow High could not convert. 3.20 to play here in the second period. Midland High leading 3-1. Dow High looks to clear things out. Was that kept in play? It was kept in play according to the officials, or kept in the zone, I should say. Shot taken from near the blue line by Elliot Diggerson, and Stryker able to come up with the save. And Stryker again, another good save. Uh, you know, right now the Chemex are doing a, a, the better job of keeping the puck in the offensive zone right here. Uh, you know, nice steal down low here by Larson a little bit earlier there. You know, paying attention, got the good poke check and able to get a shot off, and that's what they need more of right now. Try to get themselves a goal. Base off in the Dow High zone. And it's going to be won by the Dow High Chargers. Sandra Schaber able to come through again. There's a goal. Open net goal. and unable to connect with Ethan Loftus as yep. the puck ends up going high over top of Kamiski, but the net was open. Yeah, he had a good chance there, and Blazy's feeling more comfortable with this, this line of his right now. He's getting him more ice time because they're playing hard for him. Th this line has been the most impressive line I agree. for the Dow High Chargers. I agree. They're hustling and they're hitting. They want to prove a point that they can play this game. They may not get a lot of ice time during the regular season game, so this game right here, they're going to prove something. Right now, Rico Offsides. Angel trying to skate across to the Chargers will be offside. Well, this is a contest where Dick Blasey challenged his, teams before, his team before the game to right. step up. He wanted somebody to step up. Dow High not playing with, with uh, Zach Paisley or Trevor Roberts due to a coach's decision, and he laid it on the line. S somebody step up. I've seen a couple of Dow High players, that third line, answering that call. They're stepping up for the Chargers. Right, and, and that's exactly it. We really haven't heard much from Travis McNally tonight, their top goal scorer. Uh, so now you've got a, a group of kids as third liners that are going to step up and say, hey, we'll play this game for you. Just over two minutes to play here in the second period. Midland High leading three to one. Kimmich from the blue line deflected away by Dow High's Mahalan. Midland recovers with Connor Hart working it over to Jason Regeer. Regeer across the blue line forced into the corner by the Chargers. Shot taken, kick save made. Not a whole lot of distance between the shot and Derek Stryker came up with the save. Nick Mammel trying to make something work on the far side, can't do it. Dow High, chance to clear things out. Had a golden chance to clear it out, couldn't do it. Now Millen looks to take advantage of it. Shot by Thomas Smith, no good. Shot by Jason Regeer is no good. Couple of opportunities, and now Dow will clear it out. Ison will be called with a minute 18 to play in the period. Well, the Chargers got to do, they got to get that puck out of the zone. I, even if you're tired, you know, you you know you go high off the glass as a defenseman. Get the puck out of the zone. You have to do a better job than what they're showing out right there right now on a couple of these guys, because if you're tired and you can't get the puck out of the zone, that only means you're going to stay in the zone quicker, or longer, excuse me. Just over a minute to play. Dow High trying to get the puck free from Sam Gannon over onto the uh, far side. 
And the Chargers do come away with it, but not for long. Midland will get it right back. Luke Smiley, he's got one goal in the game already, but he has the puck wrestled away. Under a minute to play here in the second period. Here comes the Chargers in a neutral ice. Joey Sleeper will dump it into the Midland High zone. David Larson trying to put a little bit of pressure to keep things down, but Midland High able to come right back away. Midland High's Elliot Diggerson across the blue line. Sam Gannon and a kick save made by Stryker. 35 seconds here in the second period. Dow High looks to clear it out. They do with Michael Leslie, but Midland High keeps it into the zone. 25 seconds on the clock. Midland High's Luke Smiley in the corner to Travis Walker. Walker's shot wide, but gets a nice rebound. Midland High trying to backhand it, can't do it. It was called out of pass to Elliot. Walker again, another shot that goes to the right-hand side of Stryker. 10 seconds and counting, and Dow High will clear it in the neutral zone. Midland looking to make one more break for it. Three seconds, and Dow High will clear it out. The second period will come to an end here at the Midland Civic Arena with the Midland High Kimmicks having a two-goal lead on the Chargers. Well, yeah, it, again, the Chargers play, I think, that first four or five minutes for the Chargers. They came out flying, hitting. Uh, I agree with you on that line of uh, Loftus, Bruce Schaber, and... Well, he's been switching to center with those two forwards, really. Uh, they got three, four shifts out of that second period, and they came out flying, almost had a good scoring opportunity out of that. Uh, that's, that's what they got to keep rolling with right now. Chemex right there, though, they proved they can score the goals. You know, they're, again, controlling the zone and getting uh, the quality shots and scoring opportunities to get that extra goal in the third period or second period. Yeah, that uh, period a little bit closer. Uh, neither team getting as many shots as they did in the, in the first period, if we take a look at uh, Dick Blasey talking to the officials as they uh, walk off the ice, we had that uh, briefly, and uh, Midland High coming up with seven shots in that second period. Dow High, though, only getting two shots in that, uh, in that period, but we definitely saw a, a little more parity between both of these teams, and Dow High had a couple of chances. Oh, yeah, I, th I think they, they definitely came out a little bit stronger, but now... And, and not, not to say it in a you know a bad way or anything like that, but the the Chargers have been known to you know they get slow and flat in the third because they're tired. Cause, but I like that Coach Blazy's running that third line a little bit more. That should be a little bit more rest for that first second line. That third period they should come out firing. We're a long way from being done. 15 minutes remain in the city battle between the Kimmix and the Chargers. At the end of two, it's the Midland High Kimmix three. Dow High won. We'll be back with the third period right after this. Got one in. Welcome back to the Midland Civic Arena, getting ready for the third and final period here between the Dow High Chargers and the Midland High Kimmick. High School Hockey on MPS TV, Channel 98. Jason Harper, Terry Hanley, and a volunteer crew of 12 of the best amateur videographers and crew that you will find doing tonight's broadcast. MCTV and uh, MPS TV working together to bring you high school sports year in and year out. And uh, if you want to become an MCTV access user, it's easy to do. All you have to do is call that number, 837-3474. You can also head online and you can check out Facebook and become an MCTV user. We've got a couple of orientations coming up, one on Saturday, February 11th, and the other one on Sunday, February 10th. Your chances to become volunteers here on MCTV. And uh, again, call that number for more information. And Terry, this is, you know, it's volunteer work, but it's a lot of fun. Oh, it is. We love it. Uh... I love when I get this call every year to come out and do this game. So it's it's always good hockey. You know, I've watched a lot of these kids grow up playing through the leagues, and uh, so anytime I can come out and help make them try to look, try to make them look good, and we do it. So <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, and it's always you know fun to watch the uh, watch the student athletes as they uh, take the ice or the ball field or the football field or whatever the sport may happen to be at the time. It's always a, a great chance to uh, watch these players year in and year out and uh, becoming an MCTV access user will give you the chance to uh, to do the same. Exactly. Come on out and volunteer. 
here in this contest. The Midland High Chemics with the lead over the Dow High Chargers as we get set for the uh, third period. Uh, adjustments leading into the third, Terry. Well, I think, you know, I think Coach Blazy probably went, well, and, you know, you go into that locker room with the Chargers and tell them, okay, that was better, but we need to step up a little bit more now, a little bit harder. And before the game, we talked to Coach Blazy, and he said he wrote on, the, on, on their chalkboard in the locker room, who's going to step up? And I think I'd have walked out of that locker room and pointed at that, punched it a little bit, and said, somebody tell me who's going to step up. You're only down by two goals. I mean, you got 15 minutes of hockey left here. You go hard or you go home. I mean, That's it. And you're facing a goalie in Austin Kamiski who has done a nice job here in this game. But well, this is only the fourth game of the year that Kamiski has played in. Right. So, you know, if you're the Dow High Chargers, a little bit of pressure may go a long way. As you mentioned, it's only a two-goal game. For the Midland High Kimmicks, what adjustments are they doing before the third period? S stay with the game plan, and it's working. You know, I mean, they've done a great job. They, they seem to be able to tire the Chargers out, you know, in that first four or five minutes and then be able to – just control the puck in the zone, and it's working. So stay the game plan. Conrad Lather has the one Dow High goal in the game. Midland High's got goals from Jason Regeer, Luke Smiley, and Thomas Smith. Third period off and running. Midland High already with a quick shot on goal, and now the Chemex controlling the puck once again, and Dow High working into the board. Into the neutral ice, both teams Working the puck, and Midland High coming up with a great steal. Good job there by Elliot Diggerson. Dow High gets it right back, but Midland keeps it in play. Jason Regeer skating it from the left-hand side. Now Regeer centers up. Beautiful job. And right in front, Diggerson doing some nice uh, stick work, but could not get a shot off. Yeah, he just couldn't get a shot off. He had the wide open net, just couldn't get control of the puck quick enough. Again, working behind the net. Regeer looking for somebody. He's got control of it again, and Dow High will end up clearing it out. And an icing call. Well, again, that icing just gives you that line change. you got to do better than that. Uh, you don't want to struggle here early. I think the Chargers got to come out quick and get this first goal out of this period uh, to get within one, and I think uh, that hopefully will revitalize this team a little bit to get playing. Faceoff will be... One by the Midland High Kimmicks, Nick Mammel, working the puck right now into the corner. Mammel switching directions. Mammel switches directions again, feeds it behind, and Midland High unable to come up with the pass. But again, they beat Dow High to the empty puck and some great skating right in the middle by Steve Trombley, the junior, battled through two or three defenders. Now Travis Walker from the blue line deflected off of the stick of Dow High's Matt Lee, an almost a deflection that looped over in front of Stryker. Now well, you, you got Trombley coming out with uh, Mammo and Smith this time, so they changed it up again with those two, trying to get somebody out there with them. Midland High leading by two. We're just underway here in the third period. Across. Works the Midland High Chemics again. Thomas Smith, he's already got one goal on tonight. He's got 10 goals on the season. Now Travis Walker, great shot and a kick save by Stryker. Midland able to get the rebound. The rebounds and repeated shots by the Midland High Chemics wore down Stryker in the first period. Now Dow High will clear it up. Dumping it behind into the Midland High zone. Both teams with a line change. Midland High now works it back through. Chargers will keep it in the neutral zone. Now Dow High comes back with Ethan Loftus. Again, we talked about this line in the second period. They put some pressure on Kamiski, forcing Kamiski to cover it up. But again, this line of, uh, of Bruce Schaber and Loftus have done a tremendous job. Well, yeah, and he's got Larson center him out there. Well, he's already pulling him off. They didn't get much of a time out there. But I think... Uh, Blazy liked what he saw of him out of that second period, and it gives him the confidence to run three lines right now to try to see what can happen. Shot taken and a save made by Kamiski. A gut shot, but only the fifth or sixth shot on goal in the game. Joey Sleeper had that shot for the Chargers. Well, yeah, and those are the ones you can save. It's where you, you got to get the kid moving side to side, the Chargers do, so they can see if they can get a goal on him. It's only a two-goal game. Lots of time remaining, 12 and a half minutes here in the third period. Midland wins the faceoff, skates down ice with Connor Hart. Hart from the blue line, shot won't get anywhere near striker. Dow's defense coming up with a stop. Now the Chargers have to clear it. They have the chance to clear it, and a penalty coming up. Coming, yep. Connor Hart 
nailing the charger. If the question is, will it be a check from behind or it's just, just going to be a cross check? check. Yep. Just a simple two minute penalty, but again, one of those penalties that you didn't need to have happen right now, and uh, you don't want to see those kind of penalties happening. This one's going against Diggison. So the Midland High Chemics, Elliot Diggison, the junior, heads into the penalty box. Only the second penalty on Midland in the contest, but Dow used the first penalty to their advantage. Chargers one for one on the power play. They scored very early in the contest. Well, this is the opportunity they want right here is to get a power play. Still lots of time left. Chargers keeping it into the Midland High zone. So does it stay? No, it doesn't. It takes a bounce off the board into the neutral ice. Midland High coming up with it. Kimmick down a man. Dow High coming up with a steal. Neutral ice battle, and Midland High will dump it into the Dow High zone. Two-minute cross-check penalty, a lot better than the checking from behind that it might have been. Correct. Midland High working into neutral ice, dumps it into the Dow High zone. See right there, that's where the Chargers got to put pressure on the guy. You don't want him skating around with a puck, killing your penalty, your power play off. Get some pressure on him, make him give up that puck. Across neutral ice, working the Chargers, now across the blue line on the far side, skating right there into the Open goal. net and goal! They got the goal, they got the goal before he kicked the net off, no question about it. So there it was right there. Nice pass coming out in front. Chargers able to throw it in for a goal. Nick Keevy coming up with the second power play goal of the game for the Dow High Chargers. And it's now a one goal contest here at the Civic Arena with 11-18 to play. And a great job. You said it, that's what the Chargers had to do. And able to skate right in onto Kamiski. Nick Keevy picking up the goal. Well, and again, they, they were able to be able to get Kamiski down on one side of the net. Puck came out on the pass right in front. And Keevy able to put it in with no problem at all on that one. So good job by the Chargers on that power play. Now the power play has worked very well for Dow High here tonight. It is three to two. Midland High with the lead, but Dow's got a little bit of momentum. Midland with the puck into the Dow High zone. Chargers coming up with the steal. Dropped back in towards the corner. Good hit there by the Midland High Kimmich. Kimmich haven't been very physical in the contest. Chargers coming up with the puck. Another shot, Kamiski with the save. The rebound was right in front of the net, but nobody was there for the Chargers. Back across, Dow High trying to keep it in. Can't do it. Midland will work it down into the Dow High zone. Good job there by the Chargers converging on Midland High's Luke Smiley, not letting Smiley get through. Yeah, nice check by Milholland right there. Gannon, shut him down. trying to center it up. Chargers looking to come back the other way. David Larson into neutral life, tried to pass it through. Midland deflected it up. Larson able to recover. Dow will dump it into the zone, and the Chargers make a line change. And he's back down to running those just those two lines now a little bit. There he is running that third line. So Shot from the blue line is deflected away. Midland now coming into the zone. Shot is deflected away. Nice job there by Dow High's Robert Mulholland, keeping Midland High's Thomas Smith from getting anywhere near striker. Yeah, Kivy did a good job defensively there also. Charger defense playing a little bit better right now. 9.40 to play here in the third period. One goal game. Things heating up here at the Civic Arena. And the puck is deflected off the netting. Well, here the Chargers are what they're trying to do right now is just keep that puck to the outside. They don't want anybody getting any quality shots on the inside of that area around the front of that net. And they did a great job right there against the Chemex. Uh, as far as that Chemex pressure, it's tough to beat them, but you know, they did a good job of trying to keep all that puck movement onto the outside. Uh, these two teams will meet again in the postseason as the puck goes in front of Stryker. On Monday, February 27th, the opening game of the pre-regional here at the Civic Arena will be a rematch here between the Kimmicks and the Chargers with the winner facing Saginaw Heritage. That's in a couple of weeks. There's still about three or four games left in the regular season for both of these teams. And one thing we haven't mentioned, Terry, is that a victory by Midland tonight would allow the Kimmicks the chance to clinch a share of the Saginaw Valley, but the Chargers doing everything in their power to force the Kimmicks to wait. Well, it's getting a lot more physical right now, too, in this game. So that could become a factor as long as, you, you know, neither team wants to take a penalty right now and 
give the other team the opportunity to do something with it. Yeah, power Parks. plays have been successful, and uh, there's Phil Parks going right up in front of Stryker, but could not get the uh, shot. Battle continues. Kimmick will keep it in, and Stryker will deflect the puck into the opposite direction. Eight and a half minutes to play. Kimmick are able to make some changes here while the puck's in the zone. That's always tough to do being the defensive team where those forwards can shoot back and forth if you're keeping control, but your defensemen for the, the Chargers, they don't have time to get out of that zone. It, you get tired in a hurry. Faceoff will be to the right-hand side of Derek Stryker. The faceoff won by the Kimmicks, but Dow High quickly will clear it out the other direction. Three on two numbers, but Dow High can't do anything with it. In front of the Dow High net, Midland High coming away with the puck, but the Chargers right back into the neutral zone. Midland will have to pass gotta the puck a few times. That works. Got to wait for that clear. Down into the corner. Dow High able to look to set things up. Backhand back goal. goal. Tied it up. David Larson. And that all started with that play in the corner where the defenseman went down. You know, you got to get up. You got to get up quick and you got to get back in that play. You can't stand laid on on the ice like that. You got to get back up and get back in that play. That allowed the Chargers to get that scoring opportunity. Uh, just a backhand shot, five hole through Comiskey. Tie game now. We're at 3 3. Lots of time left in this, this hockey game. Yeah, unless the Midland player was injured when he hit the boards. You, you said it right. You've got to uh, you got to get up and get back into the play. David Larson takes full advantage of it. Larson with the backhand shot, and we are all tied. It is three to three. Midland High's Nick Mammel now working the puck. Great contest here. Still lots of time. 7:40 to play. There is no overtime in the Saginaw Valley League. If we reach the end of regu regulation, it stays as a tie. Both of these teams want a victory. Center it up. Midland Hives, Jason Regeer, his shot a little bit off the mark. Nick Mammel trying to center it up a second time. Mammel with a shot. The oh, no! It hit the post and deflected. It. It, was, cool it was in. It was, it was, the, was that hit in with his hand? He hit it in with his hand. How did he not? That, that was with his hand. There was no doubt in my mind. Oh, yeah, he hit it in with his hand. No question about it. He was backed into the net and, and hit the puck into the net with his hand. Are they going to allow that to stand? The officials, They're talk right now, the officials are going to get together and the talk official things that over. Saw that, the official that was behind the net right there, I don't know how you could have missed that. We'll have to wait. They may want to go to Toronto. and. Uh, yeah, good luck with that one. <laughs> I'm sure Gary Bettman would be sitting right there waiting. Still no uh, indication. There's no doubt that was uh, hit in. Oh, with yeah. the hand, I believe, I believe Scott Naples. And let's take a look at this uh, if we can. Now they're well, talking to Coach Brown on the bench right now. but uh, And no goal. no goal. They just made the, the, the announcement, no goal. We had some technical uh, problems trying to get the, uh, the replay to work. But it, it was definitely hit in with the, the hand. I believe Scott Naples was the one that, uh, that, that did it. That's so. a good job by the referees to get together and talk about that. That's what you want to see them do and make the correct decision. And, you know, this is a big game. They know it just as well. They ref in this area. Uh, so a good decision by them to talk about it a little bit and make sure you get the right call. Yeah, and that's exactly what, uh, what they needed to do. That's exactly what they did. Now they're centering up another rebound, and Stryker will striker. cover it up. Two, on his head on that one. two golden chances, and Stryker yep. comes up huge. Mammal with a quick shot. Uh, he saved that one. Smith comes back around for another shot. Save that one. Uh, draw it in real quick. Don't let him get any more. Good job by Stryker on that set right there. Just over seven minutes to play. We are tied 3-3. Three to three. A potential Midland High goal was waved off. It was hit in with the hand of Scott Naples. Now the Chargers working down into the Midland High zone. Conrad Lather into the corner, battling it with Jason Regeer. Midland coming back the other direction. Midland across the blue line from the left-hand side, shot and a shoulder save by Stryker. What a game. If you are just tuning in, this has been a classic Midland Dow matchup. We're tied at three, six and a half minutes to play. Midland High almost stolen away, and now we're going to have a 
hand Offside. pass. Offside. Offsides or hand? Okay, offsides. They're going to say that Nick Bamel was offsides. There's a look at Russ Eidenberger, one of the two officials in the contest. Matt DeShearer is the other referee. And, of course, we've got the, uh, the linesman who I apologize, I do not know the name of. Dow High working into the neutral zone. Chargers now trying to cross the golf sides are going to be called. You could just see the enthusiasm and then the will coming out of these Charger players all of a sudden that you never saw in those first two periods. And it's, it makes for a much better ending to this hockey game between two teams that now are actually going full speed against each other. I no doubt the intensity of this contest really picking up here in the third period. Dow High winning the foot race down to the corner, but Midland attempted to come away with it. It's Dow High that does. David Larson looking to clear things out for the Chargers. But Midland High coming up with a steal. Nice job by the Midland High Kimmicks. Couple of backhand shots. Elliot Diggison did a great job yep. keeping that puck into the zone. Travis Walker now has it on the far side. Walker loses control of the puck. The battle to get it back. Chargers will come away with it. Chargers working it across the blue line. David Larson skating right in. Backhand, backhand shot open, open net. And, oh, and Kaminsky comes up with a couple of saves from the blue line. Shot doesn't get to Kaminsky. We saw Stryker stand on his head a few moments ago. That time it was Kamiski doing it, and Icing will bring it back in front of the Midland High zone with 5.22 to play of a tied-up Midland Dow game. Yeah, that was that was huge for Kamiski. Uh, that right there gives a guy a goalie a lot of confidence. But you know, now for the first time we see the Kamix icing the puck, trying to get the puck out of the zone. Chargers won the faceoff, nearly had the shot go towards the net. Now it's back, and we're going to have another, a, icing. another icing call, which gives us a chance to uh, let you know that if uh, you're staying home for spring break, you've got time to register for MCTV Spring Break Video Camp for Kids. If you're age 12 through 17, think about the camp. You'll make your own TV show and have all kinds of fun. The cost is just $50, and the camp is open to residents in the city of Midland and Midland County. Call 837-3474 for more information on the spring break video camp. Five minutes to play here in the third period. We're tied three to three. Midland working across the blue line. Midland centering it up, looking Doing for Nick Mammel, yep. and the puck just dribbles to the left-hand side of Stryker. That's where I think Stryker's got to be able to cover that puck. You don't want that puck just going through your crease like that. Cover it, get the face off. And we've got a whistle as the net is, that is off. off. Yeah. yeah, he's, to me, as a, I, I would rather my goalie grab that puck and control it because you never know what can happen after that puck goes by and the play stays in the zone. Cover that puck, get the face off, and let your team regroup a little bit and get something set up. 3-3, three to three, Dow High scoring two goals here in the third period to tie this game up. Here you go again with being able to clear the puck out of the zone. This is where the Chargers got to get a good job of getting, even if it's on an, across that blue line, it makes Midland High have to regroup, gives you better opportunity. Right now the puck in neutral ice. Midland High winning it across the blue line. Just over four minutes to play here in the third period. No overtime in Saginaw Valley Hockey. I think you're going to see this regear Mammal and Smith line out quite a bit in the next four minutes. So Dow High trying to center it up, but it was deflected away by one of the Chemex. Now Midland brings it into the neutral ice. Chemex changing a few players into a line change. They'll dump it down in the Dow High zone, complete their line change. Chargers do the same. 340 to play. Tied up three to three. Chargers working it over to Travis McNally, who's been awful quiet. McNally with a shot. Austin able to deflect the puck away. Midland High now looking ahead. Great pass trying to find Sam Gannon, but it deflected off the stick of Gannon. Midland trying to get a shot through, but Dow High keeping it from reaching Stryker. Into the corner, both of these teams working the puck. Dow High trying to free it up, and the Chargers able to get it free into the neutral zone. 
Now Hive's Joey Sleeper will dump it into the zone and Chargers making a couple of changes. 2.55 to play and the puck deflected up and off the netting. Well, it just seems right now you're seeing the chemics coming out. They just seem to be playing flat. They don't seem to have a lot of speed and not much into the passes right now. And Chargers want, are hungry right now. They've gotten two goals. They want another one. But I think out of this chemical line right now, you, you, this will be the line that you want to is going to be their scoring line if they're going to get something together here in the next two and a half minutes. Face off down in the Midland High zone. Chargers do keep it in play briefly, but now Midland, Nick Mammo all by himself. Mammo skates it in and goes way too high. Mammo felt the pressure coming from the Dow High Chargers and got way too much underneath that shot. Yeah, he was able to break out a little bit and get, get behind the defenseman a little. And that's where those defensemen got to be careful. You don't want that happening this late in the game and give up a weak goal like that. 2.42 to play. And we've got... Uh, Too many pucks on the ice. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I don't know where that other puck came. It may have been thrown Throw in. Throw it back. We're at Wrigley. Throw it back. Midland High dropping it down into the corner. Ooh. Thomas Smith with a scoring chance. Nick Mammel now working back into the corner. Mammel on the give and get back, but Dow High able to break free, and now the Charger across neutral life. Working the puck is Travis McNally, but the Midland High defense catches up, and now Midland comes back the other direction. Dan Freed works right across. Oh Wide open! Oh, and it's good. Good. Thomas Smith picks up his second goal of the night. And, you know, and the, the, sad, the sad part about that goal is that you got to watch those rebounds coming back off those boards in this rink. And unfortunately, nobody watched that puck come bounce, right? It came right out along Stryker. Stryker's got to be able to see that, watch that puck and know where it's going at all times. And he gave up his eyesight on that puck, came back right out in front of his net. Thomas Smith all alone, able to put it away and get that goal. Second goal of the game for Thomas Smith and Midland with a 4-3 lead. Just over two minutes to play here in the third period. And let's take a look at that goal. Yeah, I mean, you can see it come off the, you know, off the boards. Thomas Smith able to do something and get that goal in. But, you know, you got to be, be aware of your surroundings with that puck at all times. Well, both of these teams play here at the Civic Arena. They know the bounce of the board. Sometimes that can be an advantage when you're playing at a rink you're not familiar with, but that's not the case here. Midland High, right now it's Elliot Dickerson working the puck. Dickerson oh. had a wide open Sam Gannon who swung and missed. Good passing by the Chemics right now. This is what you haven't seen for the last four or five minutes out of him. Travis Walker works it back into the corner. A minute 20 to play, Midland leading by one thanks to the go ahead goal by Thomas Smith. Midland High working the board, Gannon in control of the puck. Gannon now switching directions for Midland. Works it back on the far side. Dan Freed with a shot. Stryker makes the save. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised right now. You're going to see Blazy uh, call his timeout and try to get his team set up to what they want to do. they got to be able to win this face off deep in their zone and get their goalie pulled so they can get into that chemic zone. A minute six to play. A great third period. And Blazy not no time using out. the He's timeout. Go with it. We'll see what happens here. Now they are. They were waiting until everybody got down into exactly. position, and now the timeout called with a minute six to play in what has been a very exciting third period. Midland leading four to one, and there's a shot of the Dow High bench. Dick Blasey getting uh, things set up, getting the clipboard to, to show the players exactly what they want, and this gives us a chance to thank the hardworking MCTV crew that is on hand tonight for this contest, this game produced by volunteer access users and staff, and you're invited to become a MCTV access user. All you have to do is, uh, well, call that number, 837-3474. You can check us out on Facebook, or you can head online to the MCTV website. Orientation coming up on Saturday, February 11th, or Saturday, March the 10th. The training, about a three-hour training, begins at 10 o'clock in the morning. The cost is $45, which also includes your first year as an access user. For more information, again, call 837-3474. Sign up, become a part of the MCTV family. Well, this, this face-off is key right now for both teams. Chemics get control, 
They, they can keep, you know, they've done a great job passing and making plays in the, in the offensive zone. But Chargers, they get control. They need to be able to break their players out quick, get a good pass out of the zone, and get into the Kemick zone. And whether you dump it at the red line, however you can get it in there and get your goalie a bench, get that six man out. Midland wins the face off, but Dow High now clears it out. See right there, yeah. you got to make a pass. You know, you can't just clear. You got to make a pass, get something going here. Yeah, the puck ended up being deflected into the uh, into the Dow High bench, which brings the face off back into the Dow High zone. Midland with a four to three lead, 59 seconds to play in this contest. Dow High winning the face off, trying to work it across the board. The Chargers do. Now they pull the goalie. Stryker heads to the bench, empty net. Chargers with a one-man advantage. 45 seconds to play. Dow working the puck, but Travis Walker coming up with it, and it's stolen away back into the Dow High zone. The foot race is on. Steve Roberts will come up with it. 35 seconds on the clock. Roberts back across into the neutral ice. Roberts now trying to feed it over to Matt Lee. 30 seconds to play. Into the Dow High zone is cleared out again. And this one is quickly towards the net. It's going to be put in by Midland High Steve Crombley. And the Midland High Kimmich with an empty net goal to seal the victory with 19 seconds to play. Well, that one. Crombley able to break off from the, other, the outside of the play where the, most of the Charger players were uh, on the other side trying to control the puck in the zone. And, uh, once that puck was clear, Trimley able to beat the, beat the defenseman to it and get the empty netter. Midland High with a 5-3 lead. 19 seconds to play in the contest. A great comeback attempt by Dow here in the third period, but Midland in the final minutes of the contest, the final two minutes belonging to Midland, and now the final seconds running out as the Midland High Kimmich will drop it. Stryker with a glove save and dumps it behind as the horn sounds and the Midland High Kimmich will celebrate the victory here tonight, five to three, a hard fought win for Midland over the Chargers. Yeah, definitely a great game. You know, either way, this has been a great hockey game. So it was nice to see the Chargers battle back, get those couple goals, and you saw a lot of enthusiasm, fast skating, hitting, Everything that you wanted to see out of that Charger team came out in this third period. Granted, you 5-3 loss, but you, you know, you got to be proud of the way your team played. So That was a great third period. Dow High down by two at the start of the third period. Chargers getting a, a couple of goals. Able to come in with David Larson and Nick Keevy picking up goals in the third period. But then Midland, the go-ahead goal by Thomas Smith as he took the rebound perfectly and scored for Midland with about two minutes left in the game. And then the empty netter by Steve Trombley, the icing on the cake. Midland High winning by two. But both of these coaches have to be pretty pleased with what they saw tonight. Well, and knowing the way I, you know Browner as a coach, he's not going to be very happy with his team's play in the third period. There's no question. He doesn't like giving up two goal leads, especially in the third. So, But as far as Coach Blazy, yeah, I'd be ecstatic with what I saw out of my team in the third period. Uh, they showed a lot of character, a lot of heart. You got two of your best players out of the game today, and uh, the rest of them, you know, to me, yeah, that somebody, you had a bunch of kids step up and help you out there. Uh, both of these teams will finish up the regular season in the next couple of weeks, and then the rematch will take place the postseason beginning on Monday, February 27th here at the Civic Arena with the Chemex and the Chargers meeting in the opening game of the pre-regional. The uh, game will be Monday, Wednesday here. The regional final will be over in Saginaw uh, at the beginning of March. Both the Chemex and the Chargers looking forward to the postseason, looking forward to the uh, to the rest of the season. But Terry, this game here tonight was a lot of fun. Oh, absolutely. And you know, both teams can go away with this after this game and know what they got to work on. Uh, you know, the Chemex heading to the trend showcase. They'll play a couple good teams there and. You know, for Coach Blazy right now, his his goal right now is to just get this team ready to come back and play Midland High again. So, I mean, that's where he's got to look for right now is to go, you know, get this team ready to come back and play Midland High. You know, for the districts, that's when it counts. That's where he's, it's going to matter. Absolutely. The Midland High Kimmicks improving to 15-5 and five with the win. The Dow High Chargers dropping down to 9-10 and 10 after the loss. And uh, Thomas Smith picking up two goals for the Midland High Kimmich. Yeah, Thomas is on fire right now for this this Kimmich team. There's no question about it. I mean, he's got 
Uh, two, four, three, almost seven, eight, seven goals now in four or in six games. So he's definitely on fire for this Kemic team, and you want to keep feeding him the puck. As for the Chargers, you got to be pleased with the the third line of uh, of Ethan Loftus and uh, Sam Bruchaber, who really stepped up tonight. Yeah, I thought so. Hopefully, that's going to earn them some more playing time throughout the season. Uh, I think you know, hopefully, they showed Coach Blazy uh, that they could do that and they could pick up their game for him, and they're ready. They're eager and hungry to go play and. Uh, again, I still give a lot of credit to Derek Stryker. I thought he played a heck of a game again for this team. And his counterpart, Austin Kamiski, did a very nice job. Only his fourth game of the year, he did well for Midland. Yeah, I mean, he looked a little shaky in a couple of the goals, but I think when it came down, you know, towards the end of that third period, he made a couple big saves that kept the game where it was, and he did his job what he's supposed to do. And, uh, you know, Coach Bronner's got some tough decisions coming up in the future to see where he's going with or who he's going with in the playoffs. So. Absolutely. Three top-notch goalies for the Midland High Kimmicks. We thank you for tuning in to tonight's broadcast. In a couple of moments, you're going to see a list of names scrolling across your television screen. If you know any of those individuals, be sure to thank them for bringing high school sports to your television here on MCTV. For our entire crew and for Terry Hanley, my name is Jason Harper. The final score tonight, the Midland High Kimmicks 5, the Dow High Chargers 3. Good night, everyone.